On May 10, 2014, Russia's security forces detained Ukrainian filmmaker Oleg Sentsov just outside his home in Simferopol. At that time, a fig leaf referendum had already taken place in Crimea, with Moscow occupying and subsequently annexing the Black Sea Peninsula. Masked Russian men placed a bag over Sentsov's head and suffocated him until he passed out in order to force him to confess to organizing terrorist acts. They threatened him with violence. This is according to human rights organization Amnesty International. Later in a Soviet era show trial, he was sentenced to 20 years in prison. The Russian prosecution failed to present a single shred of evidence against him. I consider this case to be fabricated and politically motivated. Throwing us behind bars, this regime only moves closer to its end. This video shows a speech given by another Ukrainian prisoner, Alexander Kolchenko, during a trial in Russia. Kolchenko supported the pro-Western Euromaidan revolution in 2014, along with Hanadi Afanasyev and Oleg Sentsov. Afanasyev and another Ukrainian, Yuri Soloshenko, were released in June 2016 in exchange for two Russian militants. Ukraine, in turn, demanded the release of Oleg Sentsov and Alexander Kolchenko. A chain of rallies in support of the prisoners were held in Russia. Filmmakers and actors urged Moscow to free Oleg Sentsov while other Russians took to the streets. The Russian court delivered the sentencing after nearly one year and three months. Oleg Sentsov was sentenced to 20 years in a penal colony and Alexander Kolchenko to 10 years. In response, they sang the Ukrainian national anthem. <laughs> The most terrible sin is cowardice, as the great Russian writer Mikhail Bulkakov wrote. I agree with him, and betrayal is a private form of cowardice. In prison, Oleg Sensov was on hunger strike for 145 days and lost 30 kilograms. His health deteriorated while being held in a Siberian prison above the Arctic Circle. Last December, he was awarded the Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought. In total, according to Ukraine, about 250 political prisoners and prisoners of war are held captive by the Russian authorities. Ihor Madilyan, UATV.